Deserts are one of the harshest environments to scrape out a living, even in more arid regions. The time of the dinosaurs is no different, and just like modern day, one of the most common forms of life in these areas are termites. Making their huge mounds to escape the extreme temperatures and providing an excellent source of food, if you have the tools to get to them. Mononychus is a species that has evolved just what it needs to harvest these insects. Inside her long snout is a flexible and sticky tongue for extracting them from their mounds, and if she needs to dig deeper, she has a single 7 centimeter long claw on each hand that is great for opening any surface that they hide beneath. This young female feeds during the early morning and late afternoon to avoid the most severe temperatures of night and day. It is now almost dusk, and she is busy trying to pluck as many termites from a large mound as she can. The faint sound of footsteps startles her. She turns her head around expecting to see a predator. It is in fact another Mononychus, a young male who is approaching cautiously. It is rare for multiple Mononychus to ever interact with one another, as food is so scarce and they have to patrol large territories. But there is no reason to fight around a termite mound since they are so large, and the female turns away from the male to continue feeding. As she does, she begins to hear odd sounds coming from the newcomer's direction. Once again she turns around, but this time out of curiosity. The young male is leaping back and forth and shaking his feathers seemingly to make as much noise as possible to get the female's attention. Once she is facing him, his behavior changes again. He begins to rotate his head in a figure eight motion, keeping his eyes locked on the female. After a few seconds of this, he then switches to lowering his head and body to the ground, then pulling himself up to the air to show his underbelly. Finally, he runs in a circle and then raises his head to the sky with his arms and legs outstretched in a star-shaped pose. The female has no idea that this is a courtship display. Not only has she had little interaction with other members of her species, but she has never seen this behavior before. She is about to return to eating when the male starts to display all over again. Even though she doesn't quite understand, she does find the male's actions quite interesting. That and the intensity of his dance draws her in. The male has also grown a bright plumage that she hasn't seen before, and as he displays, she moves closer to him. When he finishes off with the final star-shaped pose, she is right in front of him. He holds the pose, allowing her to properly examine him. His bright feathers and energetic movements indicating that he is fit and in good health. Looking up at the male, she then begins to move her head in the figure eight motion, mimicking the male's movements. Noticing this, the male joins in, and soon both of them are performing the dance together, from the spins to the final full body pose. After the mating ritual is complete, the two brush against each other's snouts to familiarize each other with their scents. The two previously lone Mononychus will now stay together for the next few weeks with the male fighting off any other males that want to steal away his partner. Soon the brief rainy season will begin, along with their species breeding season. This is the first time that either of them have spent time with another Mononychus, and the female begins to think that sharing a nest for once might not be so bad. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the show. Today we will be breaking down one of prehistoric planet's star dinosaurs, Mononychus. Mononychus, whose name means single claw, was a Alvazrid Sorid that lived in the Cretaceous period around 70 million years ago in what is now Mongolia. It reached lengths of 1.2 meters long, stood around half a meter tall, and weighed just 3.5 kilograms. It was a very lean dinosaur, with long legs, tail and neck, and was likely very fast and nimble. It had a 7.5 centimeter claw on each hand, and is believed to have used it, like modern anteaters or pangolins, to break open wood or mounds to get at insects, 
though it is likely it ate other small creatures like lizards and mammals. It was originally thought to be an extinct bird, as it has fused wrist bones and a keeled breastbone. It is also believed to have had a covering of feathers. Though no direct evidence for this exists, its close relatives did have them, so they are depicted as such. Now I'm sure some of you have seen the appearance of this dinosaur in the Prehistoric Planet series, which made it look a lot like a Roadrunner. Its short amount of time on screen made it my favourite species of the series, and well, I had to make a video on it, obviously. Also, if you haven't seen Prehistoric Planet, go give it a watch, it's great. So, Mononychus is a dinosaur that began to fill the niche of an insectivore specialising in raiding insect nests and mounds, something that a few modern-day animals continue, like anteaters, pangolins, echidnas, and bandicoots. While it's not confirmed that it had a long tongue, I imagine that it did, as that's something that all the previously mentioned species developed as well. It's one of those cuter species that for me makes the whole prehistoric scene seem more like our modern one, with different dinosaurs filling out every niche and environment out there. But what do you think of Mononychus? And what lesser known dinosaur would you like me to cover in a future episode? Until then, thank you for watching.